wide. Hello everyone, I'm TG and I'm here to talk to you about this amazing game, Aliens Fireteam Elite. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I am showing you guys a build for my Demolisher, but it's going to be one that I've been using in Extreme Horde. So it's specifically designed for Horde, not so much for the campaign. You can still use it, but keep in mind you're going to shine a little bit brighter when you're playing this with Horde. It's a little bit more balanced than some stuff that you've seen, and you really don't have to worry about ammo consumption, which is very important for a Demolisher. Since we're playing Horde, we got the ammo box right there. So let's dive right in. So to start things off with, let's look at Blast Wave. Unleash a concussive blast around you, damaging enemies and knocking them away from you. What I'm going to be attaching to that is Dazed and Confused, which causes enemies that you hit with Blast Wave to be dazed, causing their movement speed and damage dealt to be reduced by 20% for 10 seconds. Then we're using Assault and Battery, so each target you hit with Blast Wave reduces its cooldown by 10%, up to 50% and bigger and better, which increases the radius of Blast Wave by 40%. Next, let's take a look at Clear the Room. So activating an ability grants one stack of Clear the Room and an additional stack for each enemy that you hit. Each stack increases gun damage by 2.5% and it lasts 15 seconds. When you use a new ability, it will reset Clear the Room. I'm going to be attaching Quick and Dirty, which causes Clear the Room to give you an ability cooldown of one second per stack of Clear the Room that's lost and Armed and Dangerous, which causes Clear the Room to now increase your ability damage as well as your gun damage. So as you can probably tell already, this build is going to be focusing more on Clear the Room than anything else. When I say it's balanced, that means I'm balancing it between Blast Wave and Micro Rockets. We want to have Clear the Room up pretty much as much as possible and as high as possible, because in Horde you need all your shots to count, you need them to hit hard, and you gotta be able to take care of Xenos quickly. With that being said, let's look at micro rockets, and we're going vanilla. Launch three rockets that detonate on impact, causing a large shockwave, damaging, and stumbling enemies. We're going to attach fire and forget, which causes enemies hit to take 25% more damage from AoE and bleed for 8% of their health over 8 seconds. Then we're going to attach loud and clear, which increases the ability's damage by 20% and causes it to generate another stack of clear the room. And then to finish things off, we're using enhanced reach 2, which increases the radius of our micro rockets by 13%. Next, I'm going to be using Rough and Tumble. This causes AoE attacks to deal 50% less damage to the Demolisher, which means those pesky spitters will be kept in check. And finally, I'm using the Phalanx, keep them pinned, causing the enemies that I shoot to deal 10% less damage for 4 seconds, and that does not stack. Finally, to finish off the grid, I'm using the Demolisher Heavy Weapon Training, Expertise, and Mastery. This is going to give me 20% bonus max ammo when using heavy weapons, 15% reload speed, radius, fire rate and stability, and a flat damage increase of 10%. Next on the docket are the weapons. Now when it comes to the rifle, it's ladies choice. I like to use the Kramer automatic fire assault rifle, but you can pretty much use anything you want as long as it hits hard. You don't have to worry, like I said earlier, about your magazine capacity because the box is right there. You can run back and forth, pick up as many times as you want, as often as you want, and if you're playing with a recon, that's just all the better. So focus strictly on damage, DPS, stability, all that good stuff. All that you need to really destroy the Xenos. That leads me to the L59 automatic fire minigun. Now this thing usually has ammo problems, but since we're playing Horde, we don't need to worry about that. So we can unleash its full force. It's got the strongest damage of any heavy weapon in the game right now when it comes to single target damage. And it's adequate at cleaning out fodder as well. So go nuts. The reason I opt for the L59 over other weapons is because when it comes to Horde, the flamethrower things get a little too sticky and the explosive weapons, sure they're great at dealing with ranged enemies, but when it comes down to the wire and everything is pushing in on you, you're not going to be able to have any output. And the smart gun, well it just doesn't live up DPS wise to the L59 strength. So that's the build. I hope you guys try it out yourself and I hope it helps you out just a little bit. And don't forget, if you love Aliens Fireteam Elite, stick around the channel for live streams and more builds down the road. And as always, I'm TG. If you like what you saw, you know what to do.